I swear I hit the fucking button this time and it uh it didn't go. It's like it's uh sticky or something. It's like sometimes you hit it Yeah, it just doesn't uh go on or it doesn't go off. Anyways, um this la whole like non mapping situation, the fact that we don't have a map is really starting to irritate me. So I think what I want to do here is maybe go back to one of the previous areas and uh, see if we can find one anywhere. Oop. Okay, I'll deal with this jump in here first. Raptor Sabatons, huh? What was that again? Sabatons are boots, right? Oh, it's light armor. Fuck off, then. I guess we could go down the other direction, but... Yeah, we'll kind of circle around rather than just stick out in one direction and keep going. Okay, that didn't hit us somehow. Fantastic. Yeah, other than the lack of, uh, yeah, any sort of map system, um, I'm really, in I don't know, I, I, other than that, I'm really enjoying the, the game so far. I don't know what it is with, like, these new, like, big, sprawling, like, kind of Metroidvania Dark Souls-y style games and, like, fucking with the map system. Like, oh, Hollow Knight. <laughs> okay, fair enough. It materializes as an otherworldly creature. That, that sounds like something straight out of Hollow Knight. Okay, we'll go along the ground this time then. <laughs> so yeah, platforming, who knew? Fuck you, fuck you! Okay, I almost got screwed over there. So is this going to be at the point where I jumped off from that it spawns, or, or the spot where I landed? Oh, this looks shitty. Man, I can't even... Man, <laughs> can't even remember exactly where... Oh, is that it? Okay, so it's... Yeah, it looks like it's where we jumped from. If we can even get back up there. Oh, dear. I think we're a bit stuck at the moment, then. Well, okay, let's take a safety... Safety potion here, just to make sure we don't fuck it up. Man, everything bleeds in this game, it looks like. Slimes, armor dudes. Hell, I think even the, uh, like the Death Scythe guys bleed when you hit them. Really? It looks like you do, like, just way more damage with, uh, consecutive combo hits, but I don't know if the, uh, like, the bigger numbers that pop up on the later strings of the combo are, like, actually, like, bigger hits that you're doing the longer you combo enemies, or if it's just, like, shows the cumulative damage. Dark Souls had a good system where it would, uh, show the... I believe it would show the, like, the damage number of each hit above the enemy, but then it would show the cumulative damage for the combo. There we go. And... I mean, I bet you we can make that jump. I don't know, how much do you want to bet that we can make that jump? 
Booyah! Who bet against me? Who who bet against me? Pay up. What is that? That's like Jasu, like four chat one now. I play these types of betting games with chat now and again. Whoa! Yeah, I, I don't see anything to do in this forest other than to move on into that uh, other dangerous looking place with the big deadly looking drop. So I think, yeah, we're just gonna backtrack from here and see what else there is to see if we're even allowed to. <laughs> hey there, Elegant Frost. It's a figure of speech, you know. That's just the way that people uh, say it when they're talking about uh, playing a game that they've never played before and know nothing about. I'm being a sarcastic jackass, of course. I know I know that you're joking. I just like... I like taking uh, jokes like that, literally. That's my equally sarcastic response to that type of humor. <laughs> Um, okay, so it looks like this, you know, I, I bet you we can't make that jump. I bet you I'm, we're not even gonna, not even gonna try. Or you know what, did I find this passageway the first time through? Yeah, it looks, oh, maybe I did find it, but I might not have noticed that chest, because that was kind of, uh... Yeah, the stu stuff in the foreground, that's my other big criticism of the game so far, is that, yeah, stuff in the foreground often seems to blend into the background. <laughs> ah, what a chump. Oh my god, outplayed! Look at that, the triple deke right there. There we go. Some people outsmart me. Some people think they can outsmart me, but I've yet to meet one who can outsmart flanged mace plus two. Although this guy, this guy's coming pretty close, as it turns out. Oops. I guess I could've just smacked him there. God, these guys have a lot more stamina now. Used to be they could only get in, like, two combo hits before they have to regroup. Uh, so far I'd say the game feels really good. Like, the, the weight uh, behind your hits in combat and, like, the execution animation. It's, it's, combat has, like, a good, like, weighty and kind of slow, methodical feel. Very Souls-like to it, except with actually an increased emphasis on, uh, like, parrying and dodge rolling, which is crazy because, like, Dark Souls had a massive emphasis on parrying and dodge rolling, but because, uh, like, Circle Strafe Backstab is not an option anymore, it's like, yeah, you really have to be a lot more evasive and, uh, sort of reactionary in this game rather than, uh, like, strategic and tactical a lot of the time. So this is where we entered. So this is, like, new stuff right here. I think there was a sanctuary near here, but I don't really remember. Oh, oh wow, one shot it. Get splattered. Or you know what? Yeah, then it. Uh... Yeah, nearest sanctuary is actually way over to the left, but I've got a bunch of salt now, so I'm gonna go for it anyways. Is that just like a crypt or something, or do I just do tons of damage? Oh yeah, there, there was the blacksmith here too, and we got the soldier's uh, poem to uh, upgrade. Or actually, yeah, uh, this. So this game, the yeah, the er, are you familiar with the? Uh, with the uh, Salt and Sanctuary, Elegant Frost. I'm going to explain this anyways for the sake of anyone else who happens to be watching. So you've got what's basically the equivalent of an Estus Flask in uh, Dark Souls. That's your red grass right here. And actually, the, the specific healing item that, that's the equivalent of Estus actually changes depending on the sanctuary that you use, because there's these different sanctuaries to different gods. So if, like, if I rest here, my grass turns into red flasks, and that's they refill at every sanctuary. It's basically your Estus. And then you got these here, which are kind of the equivalent of your grass from uh, Demon Souls. Or it's actually more like the crystals from uh, Dark Souls 2. Yeah, 
yes, it is extremely Souls-like, like in every aspect. The stamina system, the dodge roll, the guard and parry. Uh, yeah, the, the weapons and uh, stats system. You've got like fat rolling as well based on your equipment burden. Yeah, it's just like almost everything in the game is uh, cribbed straight from Dark Souls. I, I think that was the developer's deliberate intention was to just make a, a 2D Dark Souls. And in that regard, um, I think they've succeeded uh, quite admirably so far. All right, we were going to upgrade the mace. Get that flanged mace number three going. And then what's it going to be for level four? Like a two soldiers poems? Yeah, I guess I could have predicted that. Okay, we're going to take a level up, and I think I'd actually like to start going for endurance right away here. So do we... or I guess the horsey is endurance. Could also just gain more strength, I guess, but no, we're going to go for endurance here. Man, all the endurance nodes are uh, worthless, though. They don't actually lead anywhere, they're just in between other things. Okay, and it shaves a couple percentage points off our equip burden. Actually, I actually don't think it's worth it. I think we'll go for the one with the, uh, yeah, the improved heavy armor. Even though we started off in completely the opposite direction. Okay, so then we're gonna try to get three levels, go for heavy armor level three, and then that'll get us three points of endurance to maybe afford, uh, the equip burden of a new helmet. No, it was up and around where we want to go. Actually, our, our patron god, uh, what was it they gave us? Or is it just, just a different type of red juice, I think? Red ju juice in, like, a beaker. As opposed to this sort of rounded flask. Yeah, and it was red juice, too. Like, it's literally, like, yeah, our god, the Lord of Light, gives us red juice. Oh, hey, good hit. Get down here. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we haven't explored over here yet. I'm actually gonna go up high, see if we can take the... Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, there's just a wall over there. Don't shoot me, bro. Okay. Turns out he was a pacifist or some shit. No idea how to get up top there. Terrifying four. I do not like the sound of that. Oh, hey, a ghastly gourd. I mean, it says terrifying four, but I only count two. I mean, you know, the internet can be retarded sometimes, so it actually wouldn't surprise me if whoever wrote that message just can't count past two. Oh, never mind. It's actually way past counting. He managed to add two and two, because there was two for... fight the two at first. And then the two afterwards. So we actually managed to put two and two together. Some sort of advanced math for you. Wow, those guys got some good throwing arms. There we go. And what do we get for all of our trouble? A drowned locket. Let's see. Cranberry juice? I don't know. This has more of like an apple cider. Or, no, apple cider is more yellow, isn't it? Yeah, cranberry juice is a good uh, good call there. And actually, the uh, yeah the juice we get from our patron deity has more of a tomato juice uh, tint to it. So, yeah. Got cranberry juice, tomato juice, and I don't know. What's a red herb? I I'm not much of an herbologist or anything. Or is it pronounced herbologist if you say like the olog attack the ologist onto it? 
Okay, so there's got to be some way to get up. Or maybe we're going to get a wall kick at some point, because that would certainly... Uh, or you know what? We're going to kick that ladder down. That's the ticket. Okay, so we maybe want to go up from here. Beet juice. Beet juice is more of like a deep purple, though, I think. I've ac I actually have had uh, beet juice. Or I guess it is more red than purple, but it's like a deep red. Ooh. Yeah, there's like a whole side area way back up top that we haven't gone to yet. Man, we just want more of everything. There's too many goodies to unlock on the uh, skill tree. That's often the way it is with those sphere grids. It's like, can I just have all of the spheres, please? It's like, I want more endurance. I want more uh, willpower for the stamina. Oh yeah, there's this guy too. We could even, yeah, grab our level 2 heavy armor right here. Could also buy some more hair, maybe, to upgrade some different weapons. Yeah, we definitely uh, can't. Just weight wise, we can't. We, we can, like, mon. Or I guess we might as well just buy it, since, like, it takes a percentage of our money every time we die. So yeah, we might as well just, like, spend the money while we've got it. We'll go for pants and the helmet. Or actually, maybe just for style points. I don't even know if this is a good idea in terms of stats, but maybe just for, like, play some fashion, some salt and, I don't know, fashion right here. Maybe we just equip the... What did I buy again? Yeah, we just get the pants... Ooh, that's pretty nice, too. Pants and the hat. And then, uh, yeah, we just go through naked like this. That's the way I like to do things. I always like to do it in Dark Souls. Is, yeah, light or no armor. And then just, like, some big, like, big-ass fuck-off, like, hammer or great axe. Although, I don't know, it looks like we have enough uh, equipped burden to maybe put on, like, some token armor. We'll get some gloves. Gloves are stylish, right? I think I like the leather ones better. I didn't even realize that cherry juice was a thing. I have never seen or purchased cherry juice before. I've had cherry Kool-Aid. Oh, this puts us, like, yeah, way back at the start. Oh, yeah, and it was just a sanctuary. Yeah, we never did go through this, uh... And, yeah, so this is the, yeah, the, uh, shrine to our patron god here. With the, uh, yeah, the urn there in the center. So, yeah, she gives us the water of blessing, which I think is, like, yeah, the tomato juice beverage right there. Can we level up? Yeah, we're still getting the cheap level ups relatively compared to the, uh, amount of salt that enemies are dropping. This guy have anything good? Ooh, this actually looks pretty neat. Although we don't have a shield yet. Let's just get more red shards. Let's just spend all of our money on red shards since, like I said, use it or lose it. Because, yeah, the more money you have... When you die, the more money you lose. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we came down from this side before. That's right. So yeah, it's over here where we haven't been. Ambush, you say? Okay, we'll draw them out one by one then. Yeah, we, we could have come by here, like, right after the first boss. So, yeah, this is probably not going to be too challenging. I love how your executions actually work on, uh, like, multiple enemies. Oh, they 
The way they can turn around in the middle of a combo, too. A little bit tricksy. Okay, these guys look new. Oh wow, we're actually taking a little bit of damage here. Yeah, it looks like the Blessing Water actually heals faster than the other healing items we've seen. Oh, who's getting ambushed now? Yeah. Wow, that was like a four or five hit combo there. Jesus. These guys are just getting more and more speedy. Ha! Ah. Can't hit me when I'm in, in my, uh... Yeah. Scoot up on the ledge animation. Man, I got all these, like, arrows and bolts and shit, and I don't have... I mean, I have crossbows, but I don't have the points to use them yet. And they're way over on the other side of the tree. I wonder if I can sell some of this shit that I'm never gonna use. Is that how you spell Polax? Uncool, Salt and Sanctuary. Oh, hey, he actually didn't lie to us. It's like, it, it's like everything goes all dark and it starts playing like that creepy horror movie sound effect when you walk through here. I bet you if it weren't for that messages, I would have backed away and been all like, Nope, we'll come back here later. There's something scary down there. I don't know. I don't know about that. In the meantime, while I'm contemplating whether or not I'm cool with what just happened there, uh, we're just gonna go pick up my tea back in a second. And now that we've, yeah, picked up the most important healing item of all, our green tea juice right here, uh, yeah, we're ready to salt it up even further. Uh, so what just happened? Oh yeah, we fucking died and just dropped off a ledge for absolutely no damn reason whatsoever. you then uh, 
Some of these, uh, yeah, weird goblins seem smarter than others. It's like the guys with the shields. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, the guys with the shields, you kind of have to duel them a little bit. Whereas the other ones just sort of just walk mindlessly into your swings. Okay, smarter than there, though. Okay, but not the axe. We failed to outsmart the axe. Doggos we can outsmart as well. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Outplayed! I got outplayed there. That's the first time we've seen an enemy be able to, yeah, do the drop off the ledge thing. In general, yeah, enemies don't seem to handle terrain very well so far in this game. That guy did it. Yeah, I think this was the place where everything went wrong. There it is. Yeah, fuck you, little winged piece of shit. Get out of here. Oh no. Oh wow, look at that poison build up. Turns out that salt is... True enough, yeah, salt is very, very toxic. Um, doesn't look like I can activate this thing. Okay, we're just gonna move on then. Okay, this guy looks friendly. Oh. Okay, so I basically came all this way for nothing then. <laughs> looks like the place we actually needed to go were, was the place where we were before. Although, I, once again, I think we got enough salt for a level up. I think that puts us so one away from Heavy Armor 3. find out. Oh, hey, we have two of those uh, gray things, too. I, I didn't, yeah, those uh, ghost orbs or whatever they are. I didn't realize that those were, like, level up items. I don't see anything on the grid that requires them, though. Oh, those are regret orbs. That's what it is, because it says I can remove skills. So I bet you that's what those do. Those are basically the equivalent of, uh, yeah, Orbs of Regret from uh, Path of Exile. Yeah, it lets you refund one of your skill points. Oh, have we not been here before? Or no, that's right, this isn't like Dark Souls, where it only tells you the name of the area the first time you come through. Oh man, we still haven't found the other side of that there. Yeah, I guess we're just going back into the forest. Didn't see any way to progress there, but... Eh? Maybe we missed something? I mean, clearly we missed something. Somewhere or another. You know what would help in this kind of situation? Where we're lost and don't know where to go or what our options are? I'll give you a hint. Throw you a lifeline. It rhymes with crap. Okay, we are lucky to survive that. Speaking of... God, speaking of crap. Yeah, my reaction time. Yeah, still a bit warm. That's just embarrassing when that happens now. Like, it used to be it would, like, take away half my health and be a big fiasco. But now it's just really embarrassing to get pinned down by a dog that does, like, 20 damage. 
Okay, so we're going back down to the deep forest here. I didn't even see that guy coming for me there. I was just like trying to run forward and it's like, oh, how come it won't let me run forward? It's like, oh, there's a dude, like, swinging an axe in your face, that's why. Oops. Oh, hey, that was almost, uh, complete fucking disaster. Okay, even though it's probably worthless, I am going down after that item that just fell. Okay. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Shitty shit, motherfuck. Once again, sure. Just keep doing this. Just give me all the poison. Just all the poison slimes. Delicious. Poison slime. I love it. Just shove it down my throat. Actually, these uh, health potions seem to heal, like, a whole ton. Like, all these arrows I've been taking, I'm, I've just been, like, healing the damage away. Is that just me, or is... Oh, no, it just... This sounds like someone's just running the garburator upstairs. I thought that was my computer for a second. I was like, holy shit! Really, you're struggling that much to run this game? Yeah, I played Okami back when it first came out and was not a big fan, I've got to say. I guess I enjoyed it for as long as I enjoyed it, but... Yeah, that wasn't very long and the game is fucking massive. I'd say I enjoyed Okami for like the first good like 10 to 15 hours. And then it just keeps going for like 50 hours after that. Oh yeah, you again. I mean, that's not my computer, right? No, that's coming from upstairs. Which is funny, because I remember I tried that, uh... What was the game I tried to get refunded a while back? Oh, I don't remember. It was something I ended up playing on stream that I tried to get refunded because the controller, uh, it didn't have proper controller support. Despite advertising controller support on the, uh, Steam page. But because I had bought it, like, a month ago, uh, they denied my request for a refund. Although I ended up getting the controller working anyways, and it turned out to be alright. But, yeah. I forget what game it was, though. It was something that I played on stream a while back. I've got all these, like, junk items in my inventory that I don't even know what they do. In fact, I don't even know how to, like, look at them in my inventory. Okay, th this heavy armor here seems to be actually doing be doing me a solid. Like, I'm taking all these hits and I still got all this health left. Hey, Battle Axe, we actually didn't collect that before. Okay, now we gotta get through all the rest of the shit. Just one measly healing potion. What was up this way again? Oh, yeah, this, uh... Yeah, we probably need to ride the platform up there. This is gonna be a death drop if we go down there. I 
mean, that's another death drop, right? They wouldn't make us fall down there to proceed. Man, I'm kind of stuck then. I don't know where we're expected to go next. Like, we beat that one boss, and she gave us basically nothing. Maybe we need to go back to that uh, Village of Smiles to uh, do something with whatever it was that the boss dropped. And over this way was just a uh, shrine, wasn't it? Or a sanctuary. Okay, that was close. Barely managed to avoid death there. Okay, that guy, that guy was just tired of life. Wow, we just witnessed like an on-screen suicide there. Are you allowed to show that kind of stuff on Twitch? Am I about to get shut down? Okay, so this gets us all of our shit back. And then there was just nothing over here, right? Yeah, it's a locked door. I don't want to take the oath, though. Ah, oh, shit. This happens sometimes in uh, Souls-like games, too. I have no idea what to do or where to go next. Yeah, the map design is, like, so sprawling, too. Oh! Hey! Apparently I just missed this before. And I was just talking about how much I enjoy the boss fights and wanted to see another one. Oh, shit, he's spawning them slimes. Okay, let's see what you got. Okay, that was a good volley right there. Whoa, shit, okay. There was a lot more to that attack than I was kind of expecting. Oof. Oh shit, that's a lot of salt. I should have leveled up. Completely forgot to level up in the sanctuary. Still, this guy doesn't seem too bad. Okay, so, so somehow I just completely missed, yeah, this stairway up here before. So yeah, there was actually a very, very obvious path forward. Okay, now we gotta beat the salt out of this motherfucker. This seems very unlike the other bosses so far. Like, it doesn't have really have much of a way to threaten you and keep you from, yeah, just like pounding the shit out of them from up close. What? Okay, and I didn't get my salt back, did I? Yeah, I will lose 2,600 salt forever. And I didn't even see... Oh, it was the poison. The poison was ticking away at me the whole time. That's right. I wasn't even paying attention to my health, because I knew, like, I'm not getting hit, so I'm fine for health, right? But, no, I was poisoned. So that sucks. 
Oh yeah, that extra level I could have bought would have gotten me the uh, endurance I wanted. Oh boy, this bit right here though. Oh, that scythe thing too is really tricky. Yeah, that fucking black cloud that throws scythes is the worst. Oh, is he gonna knock me off the ledge? Can I knock him off the ledge? That would be neat. Oh, and now I'm burning. Okay, just gotta stay away from him when he does the, uh, blue shit. Yeah, this guy actually seems really easy. Oh, get owned by him. Nope, there we go. Oop, achievement unlocked. The forest. Alright, what you got for me then? A fuck ton of gold. Appropriately, appropriately enough, I guess, uh, from an enemy called the Alchemist. Yep, and our customary black pearl. And a mossy key. That'll open up that door then. Okay, so yeah, this was the way forward the whole time. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't... There's some weird... I don't know if it's supposed to be like birds or crickets chirping in the background in this forest. Or like a tweeting or something. It almost sounds like the alarm on my phone though, which made me think, wait, did I set my alarm on the phone for something? But no, it's actually background music in the game. Okay, that was almost hilarious. That would have been a death for, yeah, some kind of crazy compilation. Okay, so we go to the Tree of Skill. And yeah, sure enough, we got our heavy armor now. Okay, that'll get the endurance way down. And we can also afford a bunch of level ups. Oh wow, we can afford two level ups. Yeah, I guess, yeah, we're approaching 2,000 salt a level, so that makes sense. Okay, what are we gonna get now? I feel like I kind of want more endurance, but... Actually, yeah. Uh, maybe willpower and then go up towards this little endurance track, towards the next set of heavy armor. Because, yeah, we seem to be doing good for damage right now. It's mainly just stamina and having it on hand for rolls. We haven't really been running short of potions lately, either. We'll just take some strength for a little bit more damage. Even if we're doing enough damage, you can always have more damage. Okay, this is the door, right? Yeah, that's the door. Oh, we should probably spend some of this money, too. I hope that there's a shop right up ahead. Oh, boy. This is a little bit ominous. Another soldier's poem. Oh, shit. It's an alien. Oh no, it's a freaking chupacabra! That's what that is! Oh, they're like trying to surround me too. They're the cleverest chupacabras. Do they just keep on coming? Are we are we ever gonna run out of chupacabras? Okay, we're good. Good. Okay, so yeah, sunken keep. This is where that uh, platform was gonna lower me down to earlier. 
Oh, I see. I see the torch meter down there now. I saw the yellow line across, and I thought it was some kind of weird, like, uh, vertical bar. But yeah, it's actually a horizontal bar. Get back over here. Whatever. There's probably some goodies in here. Oh, wait. Wow, there's actually a passage down. I thought this was just going to be like a one-off passageway with a random item, which it actually turned out to be. Warhammer, I can equip that. At least I think I can. I've been building up uh, these, uh, yeah, big two-handed weapons and stuff. Oh, no. It's a... Wait, class one great hammer. Why the hell not, then? Oh, you've got a two-handed? Why can't... Why does it... X'd out there? Yeah, it looks like it swings just fine. Oh, well, fuck it. I have no idea why that's X'd out like that. But, uh, yeah. I want to use this. That's fun. I like this weapon. Oh, and look, it gets all bloody like that. I never noticed that the weapon... Yeah, even the weapon gets bloody when you splatter them like that. Okay, yeah, yeah we're, we're going to Great Hammer Town then from here on in. Probably, In fact, I should probably maybe go back and pick up some hair to upgrade this thing. What's the point of coming down to ambush me after I've already, like, gone back around? Oh, there we go. They actually can get over here. He's trying to, tr trying to trick me there. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. I love it. Oh, but then if we, uh... Yeah, light this up. Yeah, that's not so good. That's fine, though. We can just, uh, yeah, swap it over. You don't say. Huh. We can actually claim this one for our patron god for once. Woo. Light goddess represent. I don't know why the light goddess is like pouring water down into a vase. But, you know, who am I to question the will of the Almighty and all of that? Okay, maybe I, I, I talked up the intelligence of Chupacabras maybe a little bit too much. These guys seem really freaking dumb. Oh, tricky bastard. He tried to drop me down the fucking pit right there. Oh, the range on this thing, too. Look at that. Two for one. Oh, I'm just... Yeah, I'm just loving this uh, great hammer here. And, like, the whole getup works, too. It's like we got, like, just... Heavy boots, heavy gloves, heavy hat, and a heavy hammer. Still haven't used any of these uh, stone idols yet. Yep, I'm looking... Okay, can I, like, roll jump? Doesn't look like it. Also, I've got a fat roll. Man, I wonder if this will be good for bosses, too. Uh, we probably gotta take something off. 86%. Hmm. What do you want to bet there's a boss nearby with a key for that door? Mm -hmm. huh, we haven't used any uh, Estus yet either. It's gonna be the boss right here, isn't it? Oh, I'm getting good at this. How much salt are we gonna lose this time? 2,000? Okay. Oh, this fat roll is not going to do it. This fat roll is really not going to do it. Can we just man fight him? A little bit. We can 
man fight him, like, kinda, sorta. No, not really. Yeah, we need to take some of this shit off. Five hundred gold. Jesus, I wish there were a shop around here. Yeah, there's really no good reason to keep doing this. Like, we're just pissing away all of our gold. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna beat the salt out of this jester, and then we're gonna... Homeward bone our way uh, back to the sanctuary. Also, we'll get used to using the... Actually, you know what? Just, just for the lead-up to the boss, we can... Probably go with the Warhammer. Oh, that big satisfying just smack when you get them all like that, too. Okay, now we want to switch weapons. Hell, we'll use up a Water of Blessing just to make sure we don't get owned. False Jester, that's a weird, weird kind of title there. You'd think that a Jester wouldn't be really the kind of thing that anyone would bother to pretend to. Like, I can see someone wanting to be like a False King or a False Prophet. Those are like kind of elevated positions in society. Like, it's something you might actually want to fake. I don't know who would want to be a False Jester. Like, who wants to be a jester badly enough that they're gonna fake it? This is not going well exactly. Okay, we got our salt back at least. I guess we might as well just make a proper try at it. That one attack though. He's doing different stuff now. Maybe I should just exit. Maybe I should just actually stick to a plan for once. Like, actually do the thing that I said I was going to do. But the fight's going okay so far. Never mind. Yeah, let's just bail our way out of here. Fuck. Oh, hey, it still worked. Sweet. Okay, so let's actually use our souls this time. Maybe try out some of these offerings? Got like a bunch of them to spare. Blacksmiths, merchants... Oh yeah, we can just summon a shop if we really want one. Yeah, we don't even need to go all the way back. We can just, yeah, summon a shop. I don't know what a cell sword is actually good for. Item find bonus. Summon a leader. I think we'll actually take the blacksmith. Now nah, we'll go for the merchant. Even though we've only got one of them. No, oh, there he is. We haven't met this guy before. Oh, we can, we can sell, too. Okay, that'll be helpful. Oh, wow, we can just buy salt. Although I think the pouches are worth just 100, so yeah, a ratio of like 500 coins to 100 salt is not exactly the best exchange rate. I was kind of hoping... Oh, okay, you guys guess. What, what do you guys think I was hoping this guy would have? If you guessed map, hooray, you earn, I don't know, 
chat points. Spend them on whatever you want. Okay, so this is probably just like a permanent torch. I mean, if I'm gonna spend it, I might as well just spend it on uh, salt, right? Okay, let's maybe try out this light vessel thing. See if that's effective against the boss. We'll try the Blessed Page as well. And then, yeah, maybe a couple bells of return, just to make sure we don't run into those. And, uh, yeah, just salt. Salt for days. That would be 600. Yeah, that's decent enough. And then we can just hold on to that and spend it when we're, you know, 600 short of a level up. Oh yeah, we can sell all of our uh, extra equipment too, yeah. And also the stuff that we're never gonna use. Oh wow, we got so many Raptor Sabatons. I don't know, I'm always loath to give away, like, equipment in these, uh, Souls games. Like, I'll get, I'll get rid of the duplicates, but just for the sake of, like, you know, fashion souls and all of that, I like to keep one of everything. Also, I really wish I could, uh, sort this stuff. But yeah, some of this stuff we're definitely never going to use again. Like, yeah, okay, reason realistically speaking, we're not going to be using a bow. Could end up using that poleaxe. Yeah, but yeah, we're not going to be using these bolts. Or the arrows. Or the flame arrows. Oh, wow, this stuff's pretty valuable. Yeah, that's probably good enough for now, and we'll just chuck all that into another pouch of salt. Uh, yeah, so now we yeah achieved our goal of uh, yeah getting rid of all of our salt and money. So yeah, now we can just fight this chump again. I'm tempted to go back in Sanctuary just to get that bit of health back, but I'm lazy. <laughs> oh, so satisfying. Oh, wow, we got like a big overhead arc on that thing, too. Beautiful. Okay, how much health do we actually get out of the red shard? Is it even worth my while? I, I just kind of like drink and about it and forget it. Because it, it fills up so slowly. Oh wow, is it done already? Okay, that doesn't really recover anything at all anymore. We'll pop another one for the boss fight, but oh yeah, we want our uh, mace now. Okay, it seems to me like he speeds up as the fight goes along. Oh! Speaking of, yeah, big wide arc on a swing there. Uh, I was hoping I could stagger him there. Oh man, this recovery from your attacks is so long. Okay, so you get him like right when he comes down at the end. With the roll. Oh, okay, he's doing more combos now.
Come at me, bro. Okay, maybe. Don't don't maybe don't come at me quite that hard. Oh hey, that was lucky. I was not expecting a stagger there. Okay, when he brings it down by his waist there, that is not your cue to roll. Gotta wait for him a little bit. Also, when he runs like that, apparently you can just stand still and nothing will happen. Uh, every time, every time he gets me with that. I feel like this guy's gonna have, like, a second form or something. This is... Pretty pathetic boss fight compared to some of the other ones we've seen so far. Although maybe it's just because we're over-equipped for this point in the game, and we're about to lose again anyways, so maybe I spoke too soon. Okay, yeah, he does get tougher right near the end. Fuck. Like, there's no window to get in on him anymore. Come on, come on. Last hit. There we go. Achievement, the imposter. It took all of our uh, Estus there, but we got him. I don't feel like I really learned that fight properly either. Just kind of tanked my way through and... Uh... Yeah, just kind of scrubbed it up. Oh, speaking of scrubbing it up, we've got to... Uh... Schedule some time for some uh, acceleration of Suguri sometime, don't we? I feel bad that like I went up and I played that like on it last Wednesday, and we had some good fun online matches, and I got introduced to the community and stuff, and a bunch of them followed, and I've just done like no more Suguri since then. And it's a fun game. I should play more of it. It's just that I got other things I want to play too. Okay, so he's just a crazy person. Not even a shop or anything. Although, hey, we can dress up like him if we want. Yeah, that's fun. We can go with that. Although this is offers a lot more uh, defense, doesn't it? Oh, you know what? This is fun, too. Maybe we do go for some armor here. Eh, it doesn't quite go well. Okay, we still get a decent roll out of all that, too. And is there just nothing over here? Did we go through all of that trouble for nothing? The Jester didn't even drop, like, a new, uh, like, key or item or anything. Got a new Sanctuary. I guess maybe it was just a mid-boss. Okay, so then maybe this wasn't the way forward. Maybe we got to go back and explore a bit. Does this guy know what's going on? Uh, I didn't realize that that was a question. Yes? Okay, cool. I'm branded now. I didn't just, uh, and yeah, achievement, branded. I didn't just abandon my covenant, right? Wasn't paying attention to what he said. Oh, we got teleport points now. Oh, okay, we can go on the ceiling now. 
So this is, yeah, like a proper Metroidvania. We're gonna get, like, double jumps and be walking on ceilings and all of that, yeah, Metroidvania shit. And that's gonna be the way that we find new areas to explore. I still haven't got my, uh, new level up orb for, uh, beating that boss. It's like every other boss has given us a level up orb for beating them, but this guy... Is this a door we've been to before? Festering Banquet. Oh yeah, this was, uh, yeah, this guy. We can probably get the rest of the, uh, armor here that we were missing. Okay, which ones do we have already? I really wish there was a way of it, like, telling you which bits of equipment you already have. So we don't have the armor. We don't have the gloves. We, have, we, we bought the pants and the helmet, so now we need the armor. Yeah, the chest piece. And the gloves. You know, the beggar uh, set looks pretty stylish too. Maybe we go for that as well. Got nothing better to spend our money on right now. Like I've been saying, use it or lose it. And then, yeah, some combination of the heavy armor and the beggar's armor to get something stylish yet functional. Or that's the leather helm. You know, let's go with the good old uh, chef's hat, actually. I think it, the chef's hat looks pretty cool. Yeah, we get beggar's rags, we get... The Doppel Saldner Gauntlets. What the hell? Apparently changing our gauntlets is gonna change our drop rate? What? Or not. Okay then. Oh, this doesn't look stylish at all though, does it? Yeah, I guess we can just go back to the good old chef apron. Ooh, now this I like. This I like. Okay, so then we get all this, and then we get the big-ass hammer again. 94% heaviness. So we're like a big fat-ass right now, but uh, yeah, we can do that. Okay, now we, yeah, we got this thing. Trying to remember now where we've seen all of these before. Cause yeah, we've seen quite a few of them. Oh, now we got like new heavy armor to play with. Jesus, they're just spoiling me. This is actually the same weight as the one we have on. Same weight, it's just worse. <laughs> I guess higher slash defense and higher balance, but still. I think we need a bit more than that if we're gonna be changing our armor. Pretty sure there was one of those little monuments up top near the first boss. Or no, not near the first boss. It was, yeah, by the gate that he, uh... Unlocked for us. Yeah, right near here, I think. Oh god, where's the fucking map? I, I am sorely tempted to just, like, go look up a walkthrough to find out where I can uh, get a map. Yeah, let's just get some more red shards. We used a couple before that last boss fight.
Yeah, right up here. I remember this. Ooh, yeah. What is the point of that? Oh, we can go this way now. Okay. And then we just, like, go up into outer space. Like the end of uh, Bennett Foddy. Hell, we, ju we, we just visited a shrine, so I'm actually kind of keen to try it. Oh, we have a ton of salt, though. So, yeah, we should actually uh, check that out first. Get some live-ups. You know, yeah, we might as well just switch to the small base here when we're just running around. Ooh, what was that? Was that three levels out of that? Nice. Really, we really could, uh, yeah, with all the level ups we're getting, we could, really could just make a detour down for some prayers, couldn't we? If we really wanted. Still, if we want to keep making with these uh, heavy weapons, I think we keep on the endurance train. Then, yeah, I think we'll just continue to save up for Heavy Armor 4. Although, yeah, for now, actually, we'll get some more strength, too, because we'll eventually want to the level 2 Heavy Mace Fighter. Okay, so what does that do for our endurance? 63... Oh yeah, but yeah, we're still using that one. So yeah, we still got a ways to go before we got a decent roll. And now for some science. Some astrophysics right here. Or will they just not let us... Oh, okay, this is actually solid. Again, the foreground-background distinction is tough sometimes. I thought that this was just part of the background. Okay, so we can't launch ourselves into space after all. That's a disappointment. So yeah, the game's almost seemed like kind of linear up to this point. Like it's just been one boss after another, and each boss you fight gives you the key to the next area. Yeah, this is a good hammer. I like this hammer. doesn't even take up that much stamina, weirdly enough. For, like, a big-ass, like, yeah, hammer blow like that, you'd expect it. Oh, boy. That's a bit nasty. I was trying to mess with the power swings, but maybe we just go for the regular x button swing after all. There we go. That's what I was going for. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can do the leap strike with this one. Man, even this far into the game, like, the basic enemies still seem to give us plenty of uh, salt and gold. Is there anything down here? No. Oh yeah, there was this thing here that was uh, blocking our way last time. Oh! Okay, so it's like an invisible laser there. Locked. Really? That tiny little room there? Oh, and we have a ladder here that we completely missed the first time around. Not that it mattered since the door was apparently locked. Okay, let's keep checking this shit out. Eh, I can't quite make it. Ooh, Castle of Storms. Wasn't that the name of a area in Demon Souls? Something or other of storms? Like the 
Shrine of Storms, I think it was. Okay, just in case some enemies come up, we're gonna get our big ass stomping. Okay, I was expecting the boss message to come up here, but no, this is just a regular chode. Just a regular fucking enemy right here. I think we might actually want some agility for this. Actually, we can use these stairs to our advantage, though. Oof. Oof. Oh, I got comboed by this thing. Oh, it goes up the stairs. He's going up the stairs. Holy shit. Though that might be his undoing. Nope. Okay, apparently he's not as tough as he looks. That was like, what, four or five hammer swings? Oh, for a second I thought this guy looked friendly. Doesn't get staggered by the big ass hammer. Oh, I guess staggering doesn't really matter that much when you die in two hits. Man, this is just like the basic, like a uh, great hammer too. We haven't even leveled this thing up yet. The next time we get to a bonfire, uh, we should. Yeah, I use the blacksmith idol, and, uh... Yeah, start to upgrade this thing, assuming we have the hair for it, which we might not. Got another black knight here. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, shit. That's a new one. Oh, the button there. I see the button now. Indeed. He did. It's part of the sadness of playing Dark Souls sometimes, is because you, you can't have a build that does absolutely everything. Or I guess you can if you, yeah, build it right, but yeah. Because I usually like to, like, explore and find everything in Dark Souls. Just because I keep forgetting, like, what's the useful stuff and what isn't. But yeah, that, that means that every so often you're going to come across something you can't lose, no, or you can't use, no matter what sort of build or class you're going. It's like, either miracles or spells, there will always be some shit, some percentage of shit that you find that's just not usable for you. And for us, that's going to be basically everything, since we're going hard on this uh, heavy armor hammer thing. Yeah, it sure would be nice to find a uh, sanctuary right soon. Oof! That hurt a lot. Oh, and we're out of water. Uh, not this way. No kidding. Jump rune. Okay, so we'll probably get a high jump or a double jump at some point. Uh, since we're out of holy water, then I guess we might as well portal home. Oh, wow, is this really the nearest, uh, sanctuary we had? Uh, what's the plan here? Could go around the heavy mace fighter. I think we just keep building up for heavy armor. Because, yeah, look at that. We're going to lose, like, uh... Yeah, like, nine percentage points once we get that. So, yeah, I think we just uh, go for that. In the meantime, uh... Yeah, let's do like I said and offer them... The Blacksmith. 
Oh wow, is it just mirrors? This guy got like crazy eyes. Looks like something out of Rayman almost. Just the eyes specifically. But again, I'm, I'm the one with the pumpkin on my head, so I don't know who I am to really accuse anyone else of craziness. Oh yeah, we got hella locks of hair right here. And oh yeah, this will be a good, uh, yeah, get some good use out of those bags of salt that we farmed up. I mean, yeah, that we basically wasted our money on a while back. Okay, is there any way to mass use these? I guess the animation doesn't take that long. Also, I'm just kind of assuming that upgrading your armor is just completely worthless in this game, like it was in Dark Souls. Because, yeah, in Dark Souls, you basically want to use all of your Titanite on weapons, because that's the way that you get the best use out of it. Because, yeah, using it on armor does barely anything, whereas using it on your weapons is, like, a tremendous difference. Warhammer 1. And Warhammer 2. Okay, let's uh, let's go try this sucker out. I guess it's not- we're not really gonna get a chance to try it out here, because everything... ...dies in one hit anyways. But, fuck it. Okay. Still super satisfying, though, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know why I keep going for the big triangle button swings when everything dies in one hit of X anyways. I feel really good about our build so far. I like our armor. I like our weapon. I like how we are not using any magic or uh, miracles. Man, they even ripped off miracles. They even ripped off like uh, the whole notion of uh, yeah, have it like the sorcery. The difference between sorcery and miracles and is Dark Souls is basically the same magic system they have in this game. I wonder if they have, like, uh, the curse or dark-based abilities, too, that scale off of both. Probably not. That would be a bit too far, most likely, but... Okay, I'm just gonna very quickly... I think, uh, venture ahead here. See if we can find, like, an easy sanctuary in here. Oh yeah, we got a bunch of new magic rings now, too. Yeah, this guy's such a chump, he respawns after you visit a sanctuary. Also, that big-ass shield of his doesn't actually do anything. Sherwin got sent flying a long ways from that, though. Okay, this, this is it. This is gonna kill him. Boom! Stylish. Okay, and yeah, these skulls light you on fire if they hit you, so let's not have any of that. Oh, this guy! Yeah, this fucking guy. Respawns, he does. Oh! Oh, he's keeping the switch down. It's like, yeah, from hell's heart. Oh, and there was nothing over here anyways. Shit. Okay, I think, yeah, we have one running around weapon set and one running and, and one, like, actual combat weapon set. That seems to be the way to do it. Oh, hey, I didn't get lit, lit on fire that time. Okay. Granado. I wonder if that's supposed to be, like, Spanish or Japanese. Because the Japanese would just totally say Grenado. 
But then again, Granado sounds like uh, it could be like more of a Spanish thing. So what, we gotta come down from above for that one? Actually, it doesn't look like we missed out on very much our first time through here. Guessing maybe there's an upgrade later on that'll let us uh, make use of those platforms. Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay. Okay. Well, thankfully we... 3,000 salt, really. I guess that's not that much anymore. That's like one level worth. And yeah, we're not losing that much gold anymore. Oh, hey there, Maze Whale. Uh, yep, we are this far already. And you, you actually came back just in time uh, to catch the end of the stream, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, I've got to head off to work right now. Um, hopefully I'll remember where my souls were uh, when we come back next time, which will be, uh, yeah, tomorrow for an all-day uh, Thursday stream. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> it seems like you missed uh, most of today's stream, unfortunately. But, yeah, we'll be picking it back up tomorrow, basically going through until... Basically, either till the end of the, until the end of Saturday or until we beat the game, whichever uh, happens last, first. I don't know how the logic of that works out, but uh, how do I exit this game? Is this like a, some one of those weird games that you can't exit? Okay, we go to the menu, we go end game, and yeah, we get returned to the sanctuary that we're in already. Oh man, I'm super hungry here. Okay, so yeah, good time. Good thing that I yeah left myself some time for supper before work today too. Uh, so yeah, Salton Sanctuary, really good time so far. This has been about as good. Oh man, I had my freaking chat not in the place where I like it. I really got to test out uh, that kind of stuff uh, before streams too, because yeah, I've been fucking up, fucking up so many things on stream lately. I've like I had myself muted at the start of a session for like the third time. In the last week, I had my chat box misaligned. There, that's where I usually like to have it, uh, right next to the uh, webcam. So, uh, yeah, whatever. I'll add that to the list of uh, things to check over before the, the yeah, the go live checklist. Anyways, uh, that's the end of the stream. Salt and Sanctuary, good fun. More of it uh, tomorrow and the day after and the day after. Uh, yeah. See you then.